in this problem, we're being asked to interpret some facts from a Venn diagram. And Venn diagrams are these, these diagrams that use circles that overlap to show uh, members of sets, uh, who belongs to what group. So in this particular diagram, we have three circles. The first one is a science club circle. And um, the second one is a chess club circle. And then finally, a music club circle. So this big circle for chess, all of these people belong in chess club. And then all of these people belong in science club. And you can see there's some overlap. So where the two circles overlap, science and chess, you have Brian here. So he's in both. And here in the very middle, you actually have all three circles overlapping. So these two people are in all three clubs. So they're pretty busy. Well, let's see if we can answer some questions about this. A says, select all the clubs that Brian is not. So here's Brian. And he's between science and chess. That means he belongs to both of those clubs. He's not in the very middle part, though, so he doesn't belong to the music club. So the only club Brian's not a part of is music. And that's what they want, which one he's not a member of. Okay, B says, how many students are members of the chess club but not the science club? Okay, so let's look at chess. That's all this whole circle. What's not science is uh, what's part of chess and and music here, but not this part. So these people are are in science, so we don't want to include them, uh, but we want these three because they're in chess, but not in science. So Greg, Bob, Greg, and Tony, and that's three students. All right, and finally, actually, let me just remove my markings here. Uh, C says, which of these students are in all three clubs? And I mentioned this middle part. That's the overlap of all three. So it's going to be Leela and Diane. So we'll just check off those two. And that is how to interpret a Venn diagram that describes three sets.